My favorite anime of all time, and it still is, is One Piece. So if anyone were to ask me what is your favorite anime, a hundred percent, I would always pick One Piece because it's a, such an amazing show and it's like a masterpiece. Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today is the day where I declare that I have watched over 300 anime TV series and it's very true. And I got them right here. Seven pages of the 300 anime content that I have watched over the years. With more to come in the future, for evidence of course. Now listen, some people might say that 300 animes is not that much. But in my humble personal opinion, that is a lot. I mean even watching a hundred animes is considered a lot in other people's opinion. That is a good chunk of your time, a good chunk of your life. But I think we could all agree on this. Whether you've watched 100 animes, 200 animes, or 300 animes, hashtag anime life, basically you've been watching so many episodes from a variety of animes out there, which goes to show that anime has been your new or continued source of entertainment. It's basically no different from when people watch movies or TV shows or cartoons. It's just a new category for you to dive in and watch something new to pass the time because let's face it, you're bored. Now, you're probably wondering the specifics of my list. If not, that's fine, I'll just say it anyways. Which is, I count and select the ones that say TV series in the category description detail. And I'm only counting these things as one anime series, even though they might have a second season or maybe a sequel. For example, let's say Naruto. I'm talking about this one right here. I have already seen regular Naruto or the beginning of Naruto back when Naruto was just a kid at the beginning of the story. Now later on, we do have ones like Naruto Shippuden and Baruto. However, now I have watched and completed Naruto Shippuden, but I haven't completed Baruto yet. Even if I did finish watching Baruto, I would still count all three of these under Naruto as its title. So all three counts as one show on my list. I want my list to be completely different from each show. Otherwise, I would count these as three different shows. But to me, they're like the same story, the same series, or they are connected in some way, shape, or form. Also, I won't be including movies because that is a separate thing for a possible separate video. So that way, I won't be counting like season one, season two, season three, season four, season five, and counting five different shows. Like, that doesn't work for me. If it's related somehow, I'm counting all of it as coming from that one show. Now looking at the anime lists and discovering new things, I just want to mention it clearly that my list only contains TV series for this video. Now when you are looking at your anime list, you might come across these things when you're looking at some particular animes in their description. I did not know that there are these things called OVA and ONA. Now I did not know what those abbreviations meant, of course, so it seems like the first one OVA stands for Original Video Animation. It says is something straight released to disc, doesn't air on TV, an OVA can be an adaptation, an original series, movies, etc. as well as a bonus and a special episode for existing TV animes on their disc release. Now you guys know from my previous videos that I am a big One Piece fan and with this there are two examples that I've seen so far. One of them is the title One Piece Defeat the Pirate Ganzak and the other example is called One Piece Romance Dawn Story. Now besides One Piece there are two other examples I would like to share with you. There are are called Megane no Kanajo and Mitsuano. Hopefully I said those correctly. So that was OVA with some examples. Now let's look into ONA. Now this one in my opinion has more variety of animes out there. And ONA stands for Original Net Animation, known in Japan as Web Animes. And it's an anime that is directly released onto the internet. Interestingly though, some of these shows might be originated and created from Netflix or even Korea or China. Even very good ones. Two examples in this category that I would like to share is called Bubble and Romantic Killer. The fact is, you are never gonna run out of options. Even same thing with movies and TV shows, there are so many stuff to watch out there. So definitely check them out. It just goes to show that there are so many varieties of animes out there, and so you can't really complain too much. And finally on this part, I am not including specials, TV specials, music, etc. Okay? 
Now with all that being said, I thought I should share some of my findings and recommend some animes. And since I have already watched a ton, I had plenty of options to choose from for you to check out. But I'm only going to recommend 10 for this video. And my selection for this is going to be palatable for most ages. In my personal opinion, all of the animes that I have pick our ratings from PG-13, teen 13 or older. And the reason why I did this is because when you see a lot of animes, there are many different genres of animes out there, of course. And there are animes out there that might seem too extreme for people extreme in all different directions. So I'm thinking, which animes out there can I introduce that are not so brutal, not so these animes that I'm introducing are more tamed, decent, and somewhat wholesome. Innocent, not so bad, etc, etc. You understand, hopefully. But you'll probably understand more when I show you my list. So it was a little difficult when selecting these animes and keeping things in mind because there were a lot of animes that did not quite fit the bill. So I had to be extra careful when picking these things because I had my own criteria to follow. And I don't want my audience to be disappointed or thrown off from my list, but I think I might have done it. And I also hope I did this list justice. All right, let's get on with this. I know you guys have been waiting for a long time. Sorry. So hopefully you guys approve and enjoy my list of my 10 anime TV series recommendations from me. All right, starting off strong, my very first anime recommendations that I have for you guys is called Sakamoto Desu Ka? Or in English, haven't you heard? I'm Sakamoto. The genre for this anime is comedy. The theme of this is gag humor and school. With 12 episodes now, the reason why I like this anime is because Sakamoto is someone who's just good at everything and anything no matter what it is or what they do. For example, think of the most perfect guy in your class. He's perfect in academics, perfect in sports, talented, good looking, but also very humble. And so uh, this student, because of his perfection, you got so many girls just loving him, praising him, screaming that they want to be with him. And since he has gotten more popular, there's a lot of individuals, particularly boys who would be very jealous of him right now. Bullies that just want to take him down and try to embarrass him. Just a bunch of bad people that just want to mess with him and are up to no good whatsoever and they just continuously bother him every single day at school but Sakamoto deals with these bullies with perfection avoiding pranks and handling many situations in a non-escalating way and it's mostly Sakamoto teaching these bullies a lesson the way he handles these situations sometimes it can be just mind-blowing wow. and unexpected to the point where it's just outright ridiculous like for example imagine baking a cake now baking a cake normally takes like 30 minutes or so but when it comes to Sakamoto he probably say something like, oh, I can complete all of that in just five minutes. But because it's Sakamoto we're talking about here, he just miraculously does it all. Basically, he does everything that is so impossible to work with without breaking a sweat, which is, uh, again, normally humanly impossible. Ridiculous to the point where you just can't help but laugh. But also, Sakamoto is a great guy because he helps out individuals realize their true potentials and even helps others with their issues and sometimes their circumstances. And I think you guys will enjoy his performances throughout the episodes. So so why not have a take a look at it and see for yourself. Now my second choice for this list is going to be called The Royal Tutor. Now that part is in English. I'm not going to say the Japanese version because it's a little bit too long for me. So I'm just going to say the English title but I'm also going to put up the picture where it does have the Japanese title as well. Now the genre for this anime is also going to be comedy. However, the theme of it is going to be historical and it's going to consist of like 12 episodes. Now the reason why I like this uh, anime and why I picked this anime is because it it does teach you a lot about society and education, the importance of it, and also the importance of making your own decisions in your life choices. Now the premise of this anime or the story of this anime begins with the royal tutor being assigned by the king and given the task to mentor these four princes that are in line next to the throne. But preparing these princes in order for them to become future kings is not going to be an easy task for our royal tutor. And why is that you might ask? Well let's just say they got their own issues and problems to deal with. For example, there is this prince or one of the princes that is very shy but also has a very scary or intimidating face. And because of that, many people are intimidated and scared to even approach him, let alone try to talk to him. So in turn, Prince 1 just happens to have a lack of communication skills. Now, Prince 2 is smart, intelligent, and highly educated to the point where he considers himself very high or above other people. So basically, he won't listen or comply unless you are smarter than him and better than him in academia. 
academics. Now, Prince 3 is slightly less intelligent compared to the other brothers as he has trouble with education. And whenever he has to deal with the curriculum or come across the essence of learning, he just tries to avoid everything and just runs away. Now, Prince 4 is basically a ladies man. He just smooth talks to a lot of girls and he is in a sense lazy, but it's just that he doesn't put enough work when it comes to academics. So as you can see, our royal tutor has a lot of work to do and he has a lot on his plate. But throughout the course, throughout the journey, you'll get to see the royal tutor being able to really connect and understand the princess to the point where they are coming from. So there's a little bit of empathy. You get to see some heartwarming scenes and you get to see how these princes change from point A to point B and transform these four princes into king-like quality rulers. It's going to be very difficult. So I believe this anime is going to be worth seeing and worth experiencing. Now my third option for this list is going to be called Magic Cune Renaissance. The genre for this anime is going to be romance and fantasy and the theme is going to be music, reverse Harlem, school, and visual arts with 13 episodes. Now normally when it comes to these animes I am not a big fan of it when it comes to reverse Harlem, music, romance. It's not really my cup of tea. However I will say that it has fantasy and the animation is very beautiful. Now some of you guys might be wondering what is reverse Harlem? Basically regular Harlem which contains a one guy is surrounded by a lot of beautiful women who are in love with this one guy. Now reverse Harlem is just the opposite of it where you have a bunch of dudes falls in love with this one girl. And I must say this anime's visual animation is very pleasing and the character design was also very good in my personal opinion. You got many dazzling individuals showing off their talents and it really showed a lot of art and a lot of passion which you will see a lot of it when you watch this anime and you will come to appreciate it a lot like I have. Maybe, maybe not, who knows. Now for the synopsis of the anime or the story of it is basically you have this girl, her talent or her ability is flower arrangement. And so basically the main character where she attends is basically a school full of different types of art styles. And through that school, she gets to meet six other male figures who have different types of art styles that are unique to them. For example, there's a guy who likes to paint, there's a guy who likes to sculpture, there's a guy who likes to sing, there's a guy who likes calligraphy, there's a guy who likes to dance, and there's a guy who likes to play the cello. And of course, all six of these men are so handsome and gorgeous in their own right. So it's going to be very difficult for our main character to be able to choose which one of these fine gentlemen will be perfect for her. Now my fourth choice for this list is called Dr. Stone. The genre for this anime is going to be adventure, sci-fi, and comedy. And the theme of it is going to be survival along with it being a season one with 24 episodes. Now this type of show is going to be an educational anime as it discuss many aspects of science and technology. If you're ever interested in science and learning new things, well this anime is going to be perfect for you because the story starts out as the whole entire world, the earth, being hit by a mysterious green light that everything started to petrify, meaning everything starts to turn to stone. And then after several million years later, after the petrification of the earth, awakens our main character who is a science genius. But when he awakens, he is now in a world where the modern world is no more. So basically our main characters and everyone in it has to start everything from scratch. Basically you're like in the stone age where not a lot of things work at the time. So our hero, our genius, it has to discover new ways to start and revitalize civilization to its proper form. Now our main characters are trying to rebuild civilization so you get to see some wonderful things about technology and some of the inventions starting how they were formed and how were they created it from the beginning so you get to learn and experience and see how things work and how they came about. You know bringing back the invention of creating cotton candy, the creation of the trains, cars, cell phones, all that good stuff. Also in the story the characters do find out a way to undo the petrification which is very interesting. Now of course however there's going to be some people that might have different plans for themselves. Some people might not agree with bringing back civilization. So there's going to be some opposition with our heroes and our heroes are just going to have to try and work things out and try to unite people and try to make everything work. And also there is this question in the air, where did the green light and the petrification happen? The mystery behind that they have to solve. So definitely it's going to be a very interesting show to take a look at. Now my fifth anime that I would like to share for this list is called Spy X Family. Now the genre for this anime is going to be action, award-winning, and comedy. And the theme of it 
is going to be Childcare with 12 episodes. So this anime really caught my interest because it has a really interesting premise, a really interesting idea behind it. So basically what we have here is a family. However, this isn't your typical normal family as this family actually contains a spy, an assassin, and an esper who can actually read people's minds. Now the reason why this fake family was formed is because the spy needed to infiltrate a prestigious school in order to get closer to his target for his mission. And his mission is very important because in order to establish peace between two neighboring countries, they have to infiltrate and dismantle all these things so that way in order to prevent a possible war to happen. And in this anime, you'll get to see the characters' different personalities and how they deal with their situation and how they deal with their roles because they are trying their best in order to hide their true identity from each other. So that is very interesting to see. It has comedy. It definitely has a different type of vibe of slice of life, but it is a very fun anime to watch. And I'm very curious also of how long they could keep up with their facade, aren't you? The next one or the sixth one for this list I have for you is called The Classroom of Elites. This anime genre is drama and suspense. And the theme for this is going to be psychological and school with 12 episodes. Now for me, this anime was pretty interesting because we have this main character who acts weak, but is actually strong type character. He's smart, intelligent, and very talented. But this type of character isn't really the type of character that would really show off his skills. He's more of a type to really work under the shadows and really make his big moves in secret. Which is very interesting to see because the school that he attends is no ordinary school. The school contains a little bit of a ranking system going from A to D, D being the lowest, and he starts out as D along with his classmates. And since the main character and his classmates are starting at class D, they're gonna have competition with the other class, class A, B, and C, and try to challenge them and compete with them in order to avoid punishment. This anime is definitely giving off the vibe of the phrase survival of the fittest. So you're definitely going to meet a lot of different characters, a lot of schemes happening, a lot of issues and problems. Definitely want to check out this anime because you never know what's gonna happen next. Now the seventh anime on this list I would like to introduce is Nezakoi. The genre for this anime is going to be comedy and romance and the theme of it is going to be Harlem and school with 20 episodes. Now this anime is a Harlem anime meaning that there is this one guy who is being loved by many girls and one of the girls I would like to introduce her name is Onodera who is my favorite second place anime waifu and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to recommend this anime of course but uh, the other reason is because this anime has a very interesting concept as well and the story begins with this young boy who is a high schooler but he's also part of the Yakuza family. Now being him, he wants to live a normal life. He doesn't want anything to do with the Yakuza. However, it's not always that simple. And basically he is the heir to the Yakuza family. Now during this process, he meets a young girl who is an heir to the American gang. Now the, right now the American gang and the Yakuza family are in conflict as of that moment. In order to reduce friction, in order to establish peace, the two heirs on both sides have to come together. And by together, I mean an arranged marriage is set up by the two bosses on the opposing side. With that in mind, notice that the two main characters don't really get along in the beginning. But as time goes by, love is very complicated and situations change, especially also if you're in a Harlem with surrounded by multiple women, uh, it becomes very interesting. And also there's this situation where there's a childhood promise. The only clue that the main character the boy has is a pendant lock. However, it was done the promise a long time ago so he doesn't know which girl he made the promise to so if you are curious and want to find out more about that definitely check out this anime now the eighth one for this list that i have for you guys the anime is called your lie in april the genre for this anime is going to be drama and romance and the theme of this is going to be love, polygon, school, music, and it has 22 episodes. This anime will definitely play with your heartstrings, pun intended. Anime is about music, specifically violin and piano, as it is the case with our main character who is a pianist. So if you like music or like to play uh, musical instruments, this anime might be 
a thing for you when they're under a lot of pressure or they have to perform in a high performance area. And also our main character is also known as a child prodigy. Now being a child prodigy is no easy task as you go very extreme extensive training from parents and parents want you to be the best but sometimes being the best requires you to make some very harsh sacrifices. And I think uh, seeing the story of this child prodigy will be very much understood by many uh, professional musicians, uh, the hardships that they go through. Uh, of course, we also have this other main character who is a violinist. However, she plays for enjoyment, for fun. Now, we have the situation of the person who plays for enjoyment, uh, and then we have this person who plays for perfection. And the violinist really shows the pianist the passion, the excitement, the love of music. So as you get to see their journey that they go through, you will really uh, learn to appreciate the troubles that they go through and how they come to deal with it. So it's very a heartwarming type of anime to look at and I will definitely recommend you check it out. It's definitely worth your time to see how things uh, play out in this story. Now the ninth uh, anime that I have for you guys is called Violet Evergarden. The genre for this anime is going to be drama and fantasy with no theme but it has 13 episodes. The one thing for certain I could say for this anime is that the animation is so beautiful. The anime is so well displayed that it's always breathtaking to see the motions and pictures and the illustrations of it. Now for the story, the story begins with the young girl named Violet Evergarden. Now she was created full purpose for the war. She was basically a weapon, a machine weapon, and she had a prosthetic arm. She used quite the fighter. She was meant to be in the front lines of the war. Now the situation is the war has ended. Now she's in a position where she has to find meaning and purpose in her life after the war. So as you see the episodes of this anime, you get to see her self-discovery throughout her journey and she gets a job as a auto memory doll, which is a service given to people who want to speak their minds from their heart and they create a letter for them and they mail it kind of like the post office. And along her journey, in visiting customers, she meets very different people with different circumstances and difficulties, and she helps them through their hearts, reshaping her clients' lives and hopefully leading to what her purpose in life is and what she should do with it. And I also want to add and mention that each of the episodes of this anime really looks like a movie. So that just goes to show that these episodes really have deep inner feelings that make you realize that there is something in the world to discover. So knowing that, I think this is quite a worthy endeavor to make and definitely check it out. Now my 10th and last anime recommendation that I have for my list is Odd Taxi. Now the genre for this anime is going to be award-winning mystery, drama, and suspense. And the theme of this anime is going to be adult cast, anthropomorphic, and organized crime. With 13 episodes, now this anime was recommended to me by someone that I had just met before. And when I saw the cover picture, it didn't really click for me. And maybe it could have been the art style. But I was like, at least let's give it a shot and see what it's all about. And when I did give it a shot, I was like, this is surprisingly good. Not gonna lie though, but the beginning was a little bit slow for me. But as things picked up, it became more and more interesting. And towards the end, when you watch this anime, it covers everything together into a nice bundle. This is an anime that you really have to pay attention to. Because every scene you see in the episode, is very important to the story. Like you need to know and see from the beginning in order to put everything together. And so without spoiling anything, you have this main character who is a taxi driver, but also he's a walrus. And basically he does his job by picking up people in the beginning of the episodes and driving them wherever they need to go. However, there are people that he picks up that are really not up to no good. And so the taxi driver walrus is going to be dealing with some serious problems. In this anime, you need to stay focused towards the end. And I can't say more because this anime is really hard to explain but you will understand why after watching this anime. So that's all the information I can give you, but hopefully that was enough for you to check out the anime. So that is my 10 best anime recommendations that I have so far for you guys. And so I hope you guys enjoy watching them whenever you get the chance, or at least appreciate some of my selections. Because like I said before, there are so many animes out there, but it was difficult trying to narrowing down the ones that seem very appropriate or worthy to put on the list. I believe my selections will generally be acceptable. And also I think that these animes that I have chosen would be a good starting point. Because also I think I've seen an interview 
review uh, or an article that talked about Michael B. Jordan of how he had some anime recommendations, which I really agree with his list. However, the list that he mentions, like for example, the big three, those types of animes, they contain like over a hundred episodes. So I don't know, it might be too much and overwhelming to recommend to a new beginner. Like for example, if someone was new to anime and someone had a show recommendations and they know nothing about anime at all, and they recommend a show that has over a hundred episodes, it might be a little bit intimidating and I don't know, like 12 episodes, maybe 20 episodes might be more palatable, like I said before. So, and also that was another thing that I was keeping in mind when selecting my anime list, because as you can see from all of them that I have selected animes that have less than maybe 30, 20 episodes from the list. So I just wanted to keep that in mind when uh, picking out the ones that I want. They also had to be good. So I had to like really think about the selection process. Although I will say there are some people that will mention that the number of episodes doesn't really matter as long as the show is good and it's very really captivating, they don't really mind. But then there are people that say One Piece has too many episodes, which I get. But if the show is so good, something like that could be possible to finish. Just saying. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video, share the video, subscribe, turn that notification on so you don't miss a video and comment down below. Which one was your favorite anime? Did you like my list? Did you not like my list? Comment down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys next time.